What's up, guys? It's Buster Roni. Um, today, I'm going to be explaining uh, functions, um, specifically in Python. And I feel like functions are not always taught the right way. Um, I have a lot of friends in, in school who are asking me to help them with functions or taking intro computer science courses. And um, I feel like they're often taught in a way that's not intuitive. So for this tutorial, I'm going to assume you have a basic understanding of algebra, um, mainly functions in algebra, because really, functions in computer science are based off functions in algebra. They're really the same thing. And um, I'm going to be demonstrating that to, um, in this tutorial. So um, again, if you don't have a basic understanding of algebra, this tutorial really isn't for you. Um, but if you're reading this tutorial, you probably have an understanding of algebra. So this really start with one of the most basic functions in algebra. And um, throughout this tutorial, I don't need to think in computer science. I want you to be thinking in, in algebra. So this is a very basic function in algebra, f of x equals x plus 3. And um, let's really think about what's going on here. What we're doing is we're taking a variable, like x, and we're um, doing that variable plus 3. So we're taking the x, and then we're putting it into the function, and we're getting x plus 3 out. So let's look at some examples of what would happen if we do f of x. Let's say we do f of 3. So what we're going to do is we're replacing the x with the 3. So it's 3 plus 3, and that's 6. So really all we did here was we just put the... The, the, the variable of x, think of that as a parameter. The parameter of the function is x, and we made the parameter 3. And then we're doing 3 plus 3 equals 6. And remember the word parameter, because that's important when we write um, actual code. So the next thing, we'll do another one. Um, let's do f of negative 3. And that's going to equal negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. And just one more, just for uh, f of 100. That's going to be, what do you think it is? It's going to be 100 plus 3 is 103. So um, let's actually write this in Python. Um, this really applies to most languages, um, at least beginner like languages that um, you'll be learning if you're watching this tutorial. So um, let's start by writing this. In, fun in, in Python, the way you define a function is by doing def and then the name of the function. So to start, we're going to just do the same thing we just did right here. Let's just start with f. f of a parameter, like x, for example, the same thing. And then um, we're going to indent. So Python works on an indentation basis. So um, we're going to just, let's say we'll print out the value of x plus 3. Um, and let's, let's run this, and let's see what happens. So if I run this program, nothing will happen, because I haven't called f of x yet. Think about it. If you just write down f of x equals x plus 3 in math, you're not actually doing anything, you're just writing down a function. But let's actually call that with, for example, f of 3. Um, so what do you think this is going to print out if we call f of x with f of 3? 6, just like we saw in the tutorial. f of 3 is equal to 6. Now let's try it with f of negative 3. 0, and let's try it with f of 100. 103. So as you'll see, really what happens here is that um, we take the parameter, so let's open this like side by side. What's really happening is that we have a function f of x. It's a little bit different because this is programming. It's um, it's not just. It's a little bit different than math, but it's really based off the same thing. We define a function called f, and we take in a parameter. The parameter in both of these is x. And then we're going to print out the value of the parameter plus 3. And then we can change the parameter based on what we want to do in the function. This is a very basic example. Now we're going to do a little bit of a more advanced example. So um, let's go back to the slides. So the next slide, let's do um, the absolute value of x. So if you don't know the absolute value, it pretty much means that it will always take the positive number of x. So I'll show some examples. If you have f of 3, it's the absolute value of 3, but 3 is already positive, so you just get 3. If you do f of negative 3, it's the absolute value of negative 3, and you make that positive, so it's 3. So now let's write that in um, our Python program. So all we're going to do here, we're going to use the Python um, built-in function, which is actually a function that they made to do this, called abs, which stands for absolute value of x. And let's call it with 3. And if we run this, we're going to get 3. Now let's try it with negative 3. 
we're going to get 3 again. So you can do negative anything and it will be positive. You can do positive anything and it will be positive. So this is, um, this is another example of using functions. But this is really not really useful to us because, I mean, I guess it could help, but it's not really that useful of a function. So um, let's write another function called max. So max works by taking, sorry. This is an example with two parameters. Before we only had one, we only had f of x. But now we have two parameters, x and y. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the maximum of two different parameters. So we're going to see which one is larger. So what is larger of 2 and 5? Well, 5 is larger. Um, what's larger of 4 and 1? 4 is larger. And then this is the same thing, really just different order. But still, 4 is the larger number. So um, let's actually write this in our program. And this is actually a more useful example. Um, so let's change the name of f to max, because we can do that. We can name this whatever we want. And um, let's now do, um, let's actually write the function. So we're going to have two parameters again, if you want to look back at the reference. And um, if you want, you can do spaces between these. It doesn't really matter. Um, so let's do um, if x is greater than y, return x. Or let's, let's not return. Let's just, I don't want to go into that yet. Let's just print out x. Otherwise, let's print out y. So really, this is all this is saying. If x is larger than y, you can read this like English. Now, don't, don't think of this as, as programming. Think of this as just reading English. If x is larger than y, we're going to print out x. Otherwise, aka y is greater than x, we're going to print out y. And let's call this with, for example, 2, 5, like we did in the um, in the slideshow. 5. Um, and let's do it with 4, 1. We're going to get 4. And then we do 1, 4. We're going to get 4 again. Um, let's try running this with only, let's say you only provided max with one parameter. Um, in an actual program, I mean, in an actual math, that wouldn't work. If you have, if you need two parameters, you can't only provide one. And the same thing is true with, fun, with um, Python and programming. We're going to get an error. Max takes two arguments, and we only gave one. So um, to summarize, um, I think this is a... This is the way to teach um, function editing. It's one of the better ways to teach functions. Um, I think that functions aren't always taught in an intuitive way, and that most people learning um, programming like this already have an understanding of algebra. And since functions are based on algebra in computer science, um, why not teach it using um, algebra? So I hope this was a useful tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to message me or post a comment on YouTube. Um, and let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you check out future videos.